Trent said I got style for you Ain't seen you at the top, it's been a while for you Big you up and they look down on you Take one loss, no one's around for you I won't stop No, 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 no I won't stop I won't stop Hello, my sister. It's Kiana, and welcome back to Kiana's Closet. So today, my last. This is somewhat of a collective haul. Um, I don't have pieces from just a whole bunch of brands, different brands. I have pieces from two different brands, and that is Abercrombie and Fitch, as well as ASOS. So I know I have told you a few videos back that I'm just overwhelmed with my closet right now, and I'm really not trying to buy just unnecessary things. I'm. I, Got rid of a lot of things when I took out my fall and winter items and added in my spring and summer. Um, I noticed that I got this time around, I got rid of, I think, about 13 bags of items from clothes to shoes to accessories. And I'm doing this every time I clear out my closet. Every time I clear out my closet, I'm get, getting rid of at least 8 to 15 bags of items that's overkill <laughs> it's overkill it's no way i should be spending this much money on pieces that i never get to wear or pieces that i don't love so right now i'm just trying to replenish my closet with things that i am missing things that i'm lacking in my closet so the last few videos that i have done for you you have noticed that it has been basics i did a basic haul where i um, featured tops from h m as well as express body suits crop tops things of that sort then i did a basic trouser video where i showed you um, me replenishing my um trouser selection in my closet i didn't have any colored trousers i had a bunch of neutral trousers y'all know me you've been watching for a while i'm a neutral girl trying to get into color so i replenished my closet with a few colored trousers um and then i also did a um kind of like um, springy summer button down tops as well as jean shorts today in this haul same thing mostly your basics i got some basic linen pieces that i picked up from asos um along with a few other pieces and then i did get some jeans and a pair of jean shorts from amber Combry and fitch i'm going to try to run through this as fast as i can because it's a lot of pieces i think I'm, i have about four same pieces that i'm going to show you today so if you think this is something you're interested in seeing continue on watching if you are new here and you love fashion like i do please subscribe down below <laughs> turn on that little bell that's a notification bell it notifies you every time i upload a new video to my ogs and my new boos welcome back my loves and thanks for the continued support let's hop into it okay y'all so i had to switch out my top because i didn't even realize that i had a makeup stain on my top probably from when i was pulling it on i probably had a little bit of makeup on my hands so if you see a stain on my top in the intro just ignore it <laughs> so the first thing i'm going to show you is two accessories i only picked up two accessories from asos this is i'm starting off with asos these are a pair of dad sandals these are the teva style y'all know i love 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 this style of sandal they are very very comfortable on those hot days when you're just wearing a pair of shorts or a nice sundress I absolutely love these shoes they are in a size um, these are in a size 11 they fit perfect I have a pair from um, either Walmart or Target I think Target that I picked up last year but they are actually um, got a little bit rough so I picked up a new pair these were I think only about $11 I got to take cut that string and I have already started wearing these love them very very comfortable and very affordable Okay, so the next accessory and the last accessory is this bag here. I'm going to step up a little bit more so you can see the details of the bag. So, y'all, this is giving me Chanel vibes. Um, of course, it's not a Chanel bag, and it's, it is a little bit different. So, it is a dupe. It's not a replica. <laughs> it's a dupe. Um, and I just love the style of these bags. Y'all know I had talked about me supposed to be picking up a YSL lulu bag for my birthday i opted out of buying that bag last minute and i'm happy i, I, I i'm happy i did so because i have other plans um for my money <laughs> so i picked this one up because i was in need of a black bag with gold hardware this one has gold a gold chain it is a double chain but you can adjust it like so to make it longer 
or double strap to make it a short shoulder bag. Um, I will probably wear it longer and wear crossbody. I love crossbodies in the spring and summer, but this is perfect. Um, it is kind of like, I still have um, paper on the hardware and I don't feel like going through moving it right now. But it opens up like that. It has two compartments, two small compartments here where you can put maybe cars in and then it has a zipper. It's a very sturdy bag um, and it has enough room to get the things that I need in it. So the first thing are these navy blue linen shorts and I absolutely love, love, love these shorts. They are a perfect fit. They are in a size 20. I love the color. Navy blue is a color that just looks so luxe. Um, it's just effortless, just like a pair of black shorts. Um, so me personally, I'm not a big fan of black. I don't wear a lot of black. So navy blue is an option since, you know, I don't wear black and dark colors are slimming. I love these. They have functional pockets. They have the pleating down the front of the shorts that make them look um, just a little bit more rich, um, tailored and luxe. So love that for these shorts. These are linen shorts. If I'm not mistaken, they are 100% linen. Um, here's the back of the shorts. I do, um, let me see. I tried to wear a shorter top so you can see the back and everything. So this just has a panel on the back, just like the front, but it has elastic on the sides of the shorts. And I love that for me, because y'all know, I feel like when you have elastic all the way through the waistline, it can come sometimes look cheap and tacky. So I do love that they only put it on the sides where so your arms are mostly down, so it's hidden. So I do love that. So this is the next look, y'all. I'm so sorry. I apologize if you can hear the air conditioner. I just cannot go without air. Not today. It's too hot. So the next item is also the same shorts. They are in a regular linen color, a, um, kind of your oatmeal type of linen. I love this one. I got the blue ones first. I love the blue so much that I went back for these. They also came in pink. But they sold out of the pink before I could order them. They were in my cart. Um, but I wanted to see how the blue ones fit first. Went back, honey, and they were gone. <laughs> and that's because ASOS did have a sale recently. I think it was about 70% off. So they were sold out. But these are the shorts. Love them in this kind of oatmeal -y, um color. This is that linen color. This is the go-to color when you're looking for linen. <laughs> so I do love it. Same thing, it has the pockets. Um, this one also has those little silver buttons here. But I love these, I love these shorts. These are, this is the back of these ones. Um, just simple, same thing. With the elastic at the size of the shorts. There's so many options that you can do with a pair of linen shorts. You can wear them with a white button down. Um, with maybe a bralette under, or you can wear the button down, buttoned up, um, half tuck, um, a crop top, similar to what I'm doing today. I just have on a crochet crop top. It's just endless things that you can do with a pair, a good pair of linen shorts. And the quality on both of these shorts are outstanding. The quality is very good. They're not too thin. They're not too thick. I don't feel like they're going to get extra wrinkled really fast. You know how some linen materials are they're not see-through these are a perfect pair of shorts run and get you a pair before they sell out this is in a size 20 as well okay so this is the next pair of shorts i love these shorts these are also linen shorts i love the color of these shorts um these are also a perfect fit these are a size 20 they don't run as loose as the other ones but they're still a comfortable fit the other ones just were a little bit looser in the waist but i do prefer this fit these are a tad bit shorter than the, the last ones but i love the color of these i love the style of them they are a paper bag waist short um i'm kind of torn i love paper bag waist items sometimes and then sometimes i don't because sometimes they can look when they have belts they can look a little weird at my waist at my back area but these don't come with a belt I just love them. I love the cuff in them. It gives it that teller look with the cuff and the pleats and the um, paper bag waist. I absolutely love these. These are a little bit lighter in weight than the last two. And the last two, they had that material 
where they could lean a little bit to the itchy side this one feels more like that soft cotton feel is not as rough so i do love these this is the back of the shorts again these have functional pockets i just love these i love the color of them i know i'm going to get a bunch of wear out of these now uh, this is the next piece and this is a fail these are too tight they don't fit so i'm going to have to send them back but i did want to show you them because they are a great pant they are just too small for me in the waist let me unbutton them because chow. oh yes let me unbutton them a little bit but they're too big in the mid region um and i know why because i sized down because they did not have a size 20. i went down to a size 18 in this and they're too tight at the belly area i can button them but they are not a fit <laughs> they do not fit um and then they are a little short i feel like if i would have got my correct length or even if i would have went up to maybe a 22 in these the length would have felt a little bit longer i just feel like for me having to pull them up extra high on my waist in order for, to get them buttoned that's why they are kind of rising at the leg because if you can see camel toe um so yeah these are going back but these are great if you can fit i'm not sure if they sold out but if they had you, have your size in these pick them up this is a great pair of linen pants i love the color these are a thinner line but they're not that thin you may have to wear new underwear or um dark underwear but they're not that thin where your butt you know people just want to be stern so i love them but i'm gonna have to send them back okay y'all so this is um the style of the amber Combrie and fitch um jeans or i got one pair of shorts and the rest of jeans i went ahead and changed into uh, extreme crop top for you just so you can see all of the jeans the rise of the jeans and where do they come on me on my waist so that's why i changed the top so this is this jean is called the dad jean this is the dad high rise jean um to me this is this is supposed to be an extreme high rise if i'm not mistaken no this one just says high rise some of the ones i got are extreme high rise and some of them are just high rise um i feel like this is high rise because it does sit right at the belly button um this sits for me right at my belly button i do not like this jean <laughs> and i'm just gonna be honest up front i don't like most of the jeans this is in a size 36 um their sizing is a little bit different a size 36 with them is a size actual size 22. i got all of the jeans and longs that is something that I wish I didn't do. I wish I would have went ahead and got my regular, um, a regular limb. Because all of these are a little bit long for what they are. So with these, these are okay. Now I would say that they okay. But I just don't like this dip that is given. This is kind of like that criss, oh, that crossover um, tab front, button tab front on these jeans. Um, but I'm they're sitting a little bit low i have a lot of jeans like this from fashion nova and these ones are sitting a little bit too low for me let me see yeah they're sitting low to almost i feel like they're giving like see if i lift my arm i feel like they're almost giving um mid-rise mid-rise um so i don't like this normally i'm a fan of it I too much don't like it i don't like the length of these now i can get away with just cutting the bottom if i wanted them a little bit shorter or i could just wear them with a pair of heels but it's just something about this that i don't like i don't like i don't like these i don't like and what i noticed too with all the jeans i may talk about it in some of the clips i may not because i'm trying to make this video as short as possible because i have a lot of stuff the seat in these jeans are long. I hate when jeans have long seats. That just gives it that, that you know, it just hangs in the crotch. I don't think that's flattering on any woman. So I'm sending these jeans back. This is a no for me. Um, these are the back of the jeans. They're very, very big in the back. So I would definitely have to take them to my seamstress and get her to take it in at the waist now the 30 
six fits perfect. I probably could have even went down a size. You know, it's a lot of room in these jeans. I may could have went down the size. But I'm comfortable with this because they're not very restrictive. I feel like I can sit down in a car or sit down somewhere else all day and not feel like I'm about to explode. Now, all of the jeans that I am showing you are in the Curve collection. So they do have a regular collection and they do have a Curve. Um, but I was just feeling like they would have contoured a little bit more to my waist. Being though they are a curvy jean, but I'm not getting that. So these are going back. Okay, y'all. So this is the next pair of jeans. And these are the same as the ones I just took off. But the ones I just took off were called the dad. So it was like a dad style of jean. You know, dad style of jeans are a little bit more looser. These are the 90s. The 90s straight cut. The 90s straight cut of jeans. But they are the same far as that Chris over detail. These ones are the extreme high waist. The, the ones I just shown you with the regular high waist. So these do come up higher than the other ones. The ones I just took off. But to me these are not extreme high waisted. This is just a high waisted pair of pants. This, it is not extreme high waisted. It is just high waisted. And the other ones to me were medium. Were medium waist. Were um, medium. And these are high waist. Um, now they do come up a little high on the side. So I do like that. Because the other ones I felt like you can see like my bottom. Um, what are that? Um, love handles. You can see my love handles a little bit more. With these you probably can still see in the video. Because they are too big at the waist. But if I got them tailored in the waist. You would not be able to see my love handles. So that's a good thing. I do These cross over as well. But I like these ones more because they cross over with a zip. So these actually zip up and then it has just the one button here at the waist. The other ones that I've shown you, they buttoned all the way up. They were a button fly. These are, like I said, all of these are longs. I wish I would have gotten these in a regular length because they are dragging under my foot. I really don't mind too much though because I wear heels a lot when I wear my 90 style of jeans. What I don't like about these jeans is the wash of these jeans. The wash is like, it's different. It's giving me like that old school actual 90 wash. <laughs> so maybe that's the reason why it looks like it's This is truly a 90, 90s denim wash that kind of, I, I can't even explain. But if you know, you know. If this is a different wash, I it's, it's a light wash, but it, the denim looks different. But I'm okay with that. But then in the same time, I'm like, mm, not sure. Now, this is the fit. The fit is still really big in the back. For this to be a curvy jean, I'm, I'm not sure why the waist on these jeans are so big. Um, I do like the fit of these better far as in the leg and in the bum area. So, with these, I'm not sure. I may keep these and may take this to my seamstress and get her to take it in. If she take it in, I probably wouldn't have as much as this at the crotch area. And, of course, she'll taper in that waist. But I'm, I'm still not sure. I'm still not so. As you can see, it's still a low crotch. I mean, a long crotch. So, I'm not sure about this one. We'll see. Normally, I look back at the videos after I finish recording when I'm editing and then I'll make my determination because you can really see yourself watching the video so I'll make my determination on whether I'm gonna keep these or not but they're they're not perfect you know I'm not sure about these ones okay so these are the next one and this is a no as well these are supposed to be the 90 straight ultra high wire, high rise ultra high wires high rise <laughs> jeans as you can see again i'm having to really pull them for them to look high rise at all i do not feel like this is an ultra high rise jean it's just a no for me i don't the wash i don't mind the wash of the jeans i do love the two holes at the knee i wish i would have gotten these in a regular length the long length is throwing me off um it's really throwing me off if this was in a regular length um, I think I would have liked it a little bit more. But even that, the fit is just off. Um, these are also really big 
at the waist and I would just love for them to have contoured like this. Um, one thing I will say with these jeans, they are supposed to, I think, be 100% cotton, but they do have give. They are a little stretchy. Now, I'm not saying they ultra, ultra stretchy like your, your stretch jean, but they do have some give to it. It is a little bit stretched to it. So, you can, you don't really have to size up like I did. I sized up. May should have sized down and maybe it would have fit a little bit better. But I don't like these. These are definitely going back. Even if I get her to take them in, this is not a high rise jeans. I'm pulling it up too much in front to make it a high rise. I feel like this sits right at my belly button. So maybe so. It, it may be high rise, but I, I prefer ultra high rise <laughs> that's why i got two pair of ultra high rise i prefer them to be really high at least maybe a, a little bit a quarter of an inch over my belly button but i don't like these they're going back um be y'all before i take these all without pulling them up or anything i really want to show y'all what i'm talking about to me this is a mid-rise jean this fits me at the widest part of my body. This fits me at my lower waist. As you can see, look, this fits me at the widest part of my body, so it's not flattering on me. Now, the front comes up just a tad bit more in the front to make it look like it's a high-rise, but this is not a high-rise jean. My waist is here. You know what I mean? My waist is here, so I expect it to come as close to my waist as possible. I just... I don't know, maybe I had too much butt for it, but if it's supposed to be a curvy jean, it should come up a little bit more in the back. All of these jeans, I'm feeling like they're dipping. They're coming up in the front and dipping around low in the back of the jean. I do not like this jean. <laughs> I do not like these jeans. I'm not impressed. Okay, my love. So, <laughs> finally, a pair that I, I, I do like. I actually like... Now, I'm not in love with these either, but I like them, and I think I'm going to keep these because I don't have a pair of um, jeans in this color in my, in my wardrobe. I have some white jeans and white pants and things like that, but this is more of a bone-colored jean, and I have been looking for a bone-colored jean. Um, I was supposed to get some from Old Navy, but they had sold out on me as they were in my car. So, this jean... If you see, fits a lot better. And this is also a 90 straight cut of jean. So I'm confused. This is a 90 straight as well. And this is ultra high rise as well. These are high rise. <laughs> These are ultra high rise. This is what I'm talking about, my loves. This is what I'm talking about. So finally a pair that is what it says it, it, it is. And I like them. Now the crotch is still... A little bit um, longer it's a longer um, crotch area but it's not as long as the other ones <laughs> for some reason it's not as long these are more of a slimmer fit they fit me a lot better and all of them are the same size I got all of them in a size 36 36 so I'm not sure what what the difference Where, where's the breakdown <laughs> where's the difference if these are all 90s style jeans except for the one boyfriend cut but <laughs> y'all um this is much but this does have a little bit of gapping but it doesn't have that much gapping i'm not you know i don't feel uncomfortable in this it you know it, sh it makes if i feel very shapely in this even though i am very shapely i feel good in this now this one is giving me a little bit of a pudge here in the stomach area. I don't know why because they're not too tight. So, I don't know, but um, I'm okay with it. Because I don't have to wear it with a crop top. I can wear it with a um, white linen shirt. I can wear it with a bodysuit. I'm okay with it. So, I like these. These are the only ones that had the slit here on the side. These are a long length too. I, again, I wish that I would have gotten a regular length. But I'm kind of okay with this in a long length because jeans that have slits on the sides, I always wear them with heels. So I'll wear this with a heel and I'll be good to go. But the next time that I am 
ordering from them again, which I'm not sure I would. But if I do, I would definitely get the jeans and a regular um, left. But I like these, y'all. I do like these. So I'm keeping these. Okay, so this is the final piece, and I like these. I do. I like these shorts. This, These are the 7-inch day shorts, um, high-rise. They're not ultra high-rise. They're high-rise. But I feel like these are ultra, These are the high-rise that I needed the jeans to be in. Yes, I needed the jeans to be in this high-rise. These jeans are perfect. The, the je I mean, these shorts are perfect. The shorts doesn't have that long crotch like the jeans had the, the shorts this area of the shorts is fine now these are a little bit on the bigger side in my waist as well i do have a lot of room just like in the jeans now um the fit of this is a little looser but it is a dad short it's not intended to be extra tight on the leg so i do like it i love the details of this jean let me come up a little bit the short if you can see um it has that higher back and then it's lower around the front as well as in the back you see the little peaks here so it's definitely giving me the agoldi jeans vibe if y'all seen the agoldi jeans that has that same detail and it comes up higher on the sides all the way around the sides of the jean and it's lower in the front as well as in the middle of the back um i think that jean is like a two-tone a light wash and a dark wash um kind of like faded wash and a darker wash but it's giving me that vibe the goldie jeans also if you can see um the line here those two thick lines at the side of the jean and then it also has that line down the center right at the butt area so it's definitely giving a goldie vibes i think this is a dupe for those shorts i think i'm going to keep these even though um they're dad short and they're on the little looser fit that's what i've been looking for i've been looking for a loose fit dad short so that i can just wear it with a pair of dad sandals and a very oversized loose um linen shirt so that's the look that i'm that I was looking for high and low I found them in these shorts the only thing is I'm going to have to get them tailored in the back I have to take them to my seamstress and get her to bring them in in the back and I just hope when she does that I don't lose that design here that the two cuts so that's the only thing I hope I don't lose that when she um the seamstress tailored them down but I like this out of the two out of the American, I mean the Abercrombie and Fitch. I, I hope I wasn't saying American Eagle. Out of the Abercrombie and Fitch items, I'm only keeping two items, and that will be the shorts and the cream jeans. Everything else is going back. It was a fail. It was a, a ultimate fail <laughs> to the point I don't even think I want to purchase from them anymore. But who's to know? I may give them a second chance. All right, my loves. That concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed. All of the items that I've shown you today, sorry, I know it was a long one, but I had a ton of stuff. If you have stayed this long, please do me a favor, thumbs that video up. And if you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You keep coming back for more, but you're not subscribing, boo. Subscribe to that channel below as well as leave me a comment and thumbs up the video. All right, my love, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.